albeit with sawdust around on the uh, ground and Salisbury is in, that's lobbed in the air and George Hill's first ball faced of the day has resulted in being caught at mid-off the world knows about his abilities with the bat, beautiful mm. straight drive down the ground from Salisbury's over pitch delivery brings him his first runs of this uh, Yorkshire season Salisbury to lie. there we go, that is the signature Adam Lyth shot, beautiful stuff it will always be a joy to watch it. Here's yeah, so Salisbury again. Angled in towards Lyde this time, who's so good off his legs too, and he's flicked that one away along the deck, back at a square. And he picks up a couple. 51 to Adam Lyde, makes that a 70th first class 50. He's hit the ground running again, 84 for three. And there we go, he's driving through the gap in the offside once more. That's going to have. Uh, the legs on the chasing fielder and will be four more final ball of the over from Salisbury this time a little straighter and the same result Adam Lyth again flicking away effortlessly through the leg side this time out towards the northeast stand scoreboard Scott Curry is in to bowl to Harry Brock wide and it's a clubbed back pass and I thought for a minute it was possibly going to be caught down to his left hand had he done so off, isn't it all about the bouncer as Curry goes in edged oh slashed at that one Lithe and chopped it well over the top of Peter Hanscom at second slip but Lithe recognising Salisbury over the wicket and uh, Brooke that's a super shot driven down the ground it was aerial for a moment but Salisbury's fairly wide in his follow through and it was hit straighter than that by Harry Brooke Curry is in Brooke is hitting it hard back high over his head very straight over and very straight mid on, well inside mid on to the boundary for four more. So he's really going to go for it. Headingly Turf Curry is in. Bowls hit high over backward square. It was a poor delivery from Scott Curry and it has the legs to uh, thump into the blue seats down there. Runs in and bowls again short, again smashed high over square leg and into that eastern terrace in front of the hotel. Russell's in, bowls outside off stump, slapped away by Brooke and beautifully timed. I mean, I don't know how far Matt Salisbury was from the line of that ball when it left the bat. Probably not much more than 10 yards. Extra cover as Scriven is in, bowls and Brooke waits for the slightly shorter delivery, guides it wide of where Kimber would have been. It wouldn't have been a chance, but it was a perfectly placed shot by Harry Brook, short straight mid on now as in goes Scriven and bowls slap straight back past him, off driven, very straight. Both sides of the wicket and a long leg as Mike's first delivery, it's going to go for four, down through third man, Adam Lyth playing it top of the bounce, getting it through the cordon, no problem. Here's Mike again and he's managed to get it away just to the right of Rishi Patel this time, probably not. 100% uh, timed, like some of the strokes we've seen from him, because the ball just bobbles over the boundary rope. And uh, Harry Brook punching one out into the covers. And there we go, the ripple of applause from those who have stuck with this match. Mike round the wicket here to lie. It's full and driven square on the offside. Uh, Rehan Arnhem is giving chase, but he's not going to get there. Four more to Lyth. 82 to him. Mike uh, comes in again. Short ball. There's the front uh, knee tucked up by Adam Lyth. And he's flicked it away back with a square leg. And it has got the legs to just creep over the rope down by the tavern stand. An absence of uh, slips and gullies now. As Scriven comes in. Oh, it's a streaky edge from Lyth. And that will go through for another boundary. Ahmed in. Ball drops short. Lyth goes back. Pulls it over mid wicket for. Six. 99 to Adam Lythe. So here is Ahmed to Adam Lythe who tucks it into the leg side and there you go. The fists are being shaken once again. It's been a tremendous effort by him and in this partnership with Harry Brook. Ahmed is in. Bowles tosses it up pleasantly but Brook drives pleasantly, equally pleasantly, more so in fact because he's got it wide of the man. Had uh, extra cover, the diving Scriven couldn't get there, nor could Curry running along the boundary. Scriven's in again, then to Harry Brook. Brook playing a little scoop shot. Well, can you believe that from Harry Brook? That is, well, 
the cheek of the man. That was sensational shot, really, as uh, Adam Lyth is back on strike. Lyth giving himself some room. He hits that where he's hauled out, though, onto the extra cover boundary. And that is the end of Adam Lyth, who has gone for 101. That's for sure. Slip has gone in now, interestingly, for Ahmed Bowling to the right-handed. Brook bounces in, bowls again, a little bit short, slapped away and straight through, uh, straight-ish extra cover. So again, it was that sort of almost horizontal bat from Brook, but he picked his spot. Again, again, a little bit short. This time, Brook goes back and cuts down to the point boundary for, for Curry. Looking a little bit disconsolate down there, as sort of skidded to his left this time. Once again, Tattersall, oh, that's delightfully played. He just uh, opens the face of the bat and allows that one to go down to that vacant third man area. But he's played it really, really well, aware of the space down there. So, Rahan Ahmed continues from the Kirkstall lane and tosses it up nicely to Brook, who whips him out to deep mid-wicket for four. So he probably didn't toss it up nicely after all. It just looked a nice loop to it as I watched the ball in the air. And bounces in and bowls back goes Brook and cuts and cuts for four. Wow. There wasn't too much wrong with that delivery, to be quite honest. It wasn't a too bad a length and it was straight-ish. Salisbury comes in and bowls. Oh, delightful shot. Johnny Tattersall, just slightly over-pitched and not Yorker length. Five for four then, Yorkshire. Tattersall drives again and he's got that one away as well. That's a half volley, that's outside off stump. Got uh, fine leg. And Brooke drives through a gap in the offside. Doesn't matter where you put him, does it? It doesn't matter where you put them. Rayan Ahmed gives him a little bit of room to work with and he just goes, OK, well, you've got a couple of men there. I just did it between them. Four runs. Yorkshire first innings. Bowling here to Johnny Tattersall, who's on 18. Playing across a straight one, given. Yep, no surprise he's fallen over in trying to play that full-length delivery. And Mike strikes again. Three for 42 for him. Final ball of the over. Thompson it's playing close. that one into the leg side. And this time he has gone. Uh, Yahoo over mid-wicket, which he missed. And uh, Jordan Thompson then has gone without scoring 254 for the loss of six wickets, Yorkshire. Salisbury and again, Tattersall this time with the field. Uh, not Tattersall, uh, Mills I should say, with the field uh, closing in. And that's a lovely shot. Pre pretty much like Johnny Tattersall had played himself when he was out there. Well, short of length and that'll be it. Harry Brook just works one down to fine leg. Effortless, but brutal as well at the same time. Harry Brook at times today. And for him, a 12th first-class century, 107 minutes, 69 deliveries. Straight mid-wicket, line in again, and Patel goes big with a couple of bounces. Brings up the first boundary of the innings. But more of a jog up towards his, uh, his mark, and he's back in again round the wicket. Bit short in length this time, and that is hit hard and long. And has it gone for four? I think it has just hit the rope has it or not Patel is back on strike he's on 11 that was a bit short outside the off stump and he rocks back really well Patel there's a great shot isn't it off the back foot giving himself just a little bit of space Lie then again left by Harris respect for Adam Lythe 